Hello and welcome to Kazula Powerhouse After School Program. This is our Art School After School Program and this week we are starting with one of my favourite artists, Henri Matisse. We're going to actually be starting with a brief history about him, about what he does, look at some of his paintings, look at some of his more famous kind of artworks and then we're going to be creating our own inspired artwork. Henri Matisse was born in uh, northern France and he was born to a grain merchant and his father really wanted him to be a lawyer. So Matisse went off and he went off and studied to become a lawyer and actually passed the bar. And in 1889, as it says here, he got appendicitis. And when he was really sick, he went back home to recover. And his mom, like a, all good mothers do, bought him some art supplies. And he really, really enjoyed playing around and making art. So he decided then that he was going to be a full-time artist to his father's disappointment. And so he went off and one of his most famous movements that he's ever created was Fauvism. And our Fauvism or Fauve, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, is called, is known as Wild Beast. And Fauvism was from 1905 to 1910, give or take. And what it was really famous for is kind of this really wild brush strokes and bright colors. So, and when you look at these paintings, I want you to look and kind of see kind of the rush brush strokes, the kind of capturing of a mood. What Matisse was getting at was he took from Van Gogh's post-impressionism and Seurat's neo-impressionism and kind of pushed it a little bit further. So he was inspired by those kind of practices and wanted to kind of even move it beyond that and take what was the traditional 3D painting and capture a mood and an essence through expressing through colour. So a lot of his paintings and Fauvism paintings are expressions of moods and traditional ideas but in very different ways. So now we're moving on and Matisse is quite older and wiser and unfortunately he is in a wheelchair now and he can't actually go outside and capture and paint a mood. So he's stuck at home and what does he do and what does he learn? He learns that he can paint with scissors, which is kind of like a weird concept in itself, but a really beautiful one. And that's what we're going to do. And some of his most famous work comes from what we now know as Matisse's cutouts. So I'm going to show you one of his artworks and maybe they'll probably post this on, I'll post this in the group anyway. This is the snail and it's a bit different to what we normally see as a snail. It has blocks of colour, it's bright, there are shapes, and it actually, you can kind of see the swirl of the shell, but it doesn't take the traditional form of what we know as a snail. So now that I've kind of gone through this brief history and talked about some of his key uh, painting styles and we've looked at some of his cutouts, we're actually going to make our own inspired Matisse cutouts. Now you're probably going, well, wow, that's like really easy, I can do that. Well. No, it isn't. That's why we're here to teach you. So what do you need? You need some nice white paper or cardboard. You can actually just use some old recycled paper at home and paint it white. If you have some white paint or just leave it brown, that's also okay. Today we're just using, because we're in the studio, we can, we're just using some white paper. The next thing, what I did before to save us time, is I painted some shapes over here some different kinds of just squares and rectangle shapes. And I painted it with some of our very old watercolors, as you can probably tell. You can actually probably as well use food dye or because food dye is quite good ink if you don't have watercolors or ink at home. And what else you'll need is you'll need some glue. We're using just PVA school glue, but you can also use um, just a glue stick that you have lying at home. And then what else do you need? I have it here, some cardboard, some black cardboard. We have some red cardboard that was used for one of our other workshops, as you can tell. Orange. All the colors of the rainbow is basically what we have here. Green, yellow, some blue and some purple. And these are actually just leftover materials so that you can actually just use anything that you have at home. So what we're doing now is cutting out some shapes from our brightly colored paper and we're actually cutting them inspired 
by under the sea. So when you're doing this at home, I want you to start thinking about kind of shapes that you think you can see under the sea. Now that you have done all these shapes, like this, the best way to start is actually to start with your watercolored block. So now you put your glue in. So, here we have my under the sea inspired Matisse cutouts. What I would love from you guys is if you can actually send me the copies of what you've created and scans that you've done and send them in um, to reception at kasulapowerhouse.com with the title Art School After School 6 to 9 so then I can actually start to catalogue it and look at what you've created. See you next week. Catch you then.